Uh, hello everyone, my name is Christian Montague and I wanted to discuss how a history degree has helped me succeed in this competitive job market and what it has done for me in my current role. Uh, first, let's look at my, uh, back, my uh, educational background. I have a bachelor's in history and philosophy, um, a master's in philosophy, and an MBA, all of which I got from the University of Memphis. Um, I wanted to point out with regard to education specifically that before getting my MBA, I had no prior business experience and very little experience in, the professional, in, the, in a professional environment. With that said, the reason I was able to do so well in my MBA um, and succeed in a professional environment was because of my history degree. The, the main point being here is that a degree in the humanities, specifically a degree in history, provides a range of skills that allow you to succeed in any environment. So I'll give you an example. Uh, let's look at what I'm currently doing. So um, I'm currently working as an outbound analyst for Johnson & Johnson, uh, in which I'm responsible for uh, reducing costs as much as possible without sacrificing efficiency. So what that entails is leading projects uh, that establish measures, objectives, and goals for the purposes of strategically planning the distribution of medical materials and products, both domestically and internationally. Um, so there are a few skills that I want to go over that have allowed me to succeed in this role and will allow you to succeed in a competitive job market. First, the, a history degree allows you to illuminate the past and future. So just like you look for patterns and the context of those patterns within historical periods, you also use this training to better understand patterns within your working environment. So for my current position as an analyst, uh, not only do I need to be able to make predictions based on prior, prior data, but I need to be able to understand these predictions and the analysis within the context of the current business problems and the other aspects um, that are surrounding this problem. That is, a history degree allows you to consider information from various perspectives, allowing you to understand how problems arise, the context behind those problems, the complexity of the problem, and why the problem is relevant to your organization and business unit. Another important skill that I was able to gain for my history degree was an assortment of sophisticated research techniques that are not applicable or not that are not only applicable to getting an advanced degree, though they definitely are, but also any working environment. So a good example of a useful re research technique is the ability to, pro to approach a problem and analyze it with the understanding that no problem is monocausal. There is no one answer. Um, it is often the result of interlocking issues, events, structures, and people that together constitute the underlying mechanism of the problem or issue being investigated. This technique is absolutely essential because businesses, business problems, like in a history degree, um, are often not black and white. There is no single answer, as I said before, nor is it normally possible to account for every component of the issue. A degree in history develops the ability to deal with problems with many moving parts, which allows you to provide uh, management with multiple avenues of approach. The final skill that I'm going to discuss here is the ability to communicate effectively. Not only does a degree in history allow you to communicate effectively while writing, it also provides you with the ability to communicate in a work environment because you're able to break down problems into their constitutive parts and to communicate that complexity effectively to, to management and other stakeholders within the business. And finally, I wanna point out that when you're looking for employment, you want to continue to discuss how you want to improve your education, um, how you want to learn continuously, and this is often called professional development. And you wanna focus on this in your interview process. That is, as someone with a history degree, you need to communicate to your manager that you're a lifetime learner and as such, you have the ability to develop skills necessary to excel in your position. Thank you for your time.